All right, hello. This is a singe game played in still. We're, we're still in plot two. So, uh, yeah, we're against a Garen, right? And, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyway, uh, a little more about the giveaway. I did say 10,000 RP, right? And I am not going back on my word and I will actually give out 10,000 RP, and I calculated how much that would be, and that's about 15 winners if I were to give $5 each, which is equal to 650 RP each. It's about 15 winners, so that's like $75 giveaway instead of the 50 I originally said. You know, it's fine. More more winners. I think that's better, right? $5 each. Um, I, I, th I don't think I would actually give... Uh, seventy-five dollars of RP to one person. That'd be kind of. I think that'd be unfair, and I want it to be as even as possible. And you know, five dollars isn't a whole lot. Six hundred fifty RP isn't a whole lot, but you know, at least you can get a skin if it's on sale or something. You know, patience is key. Anyways, um, uh, winners are going to be announced in a video on the twenty-fourth of this month, I think. It, uh, next week, right? So the the video from two days ago, next week minus one day, that should be like the twenty fourth or something. It's it's an even number. It's like twenty four or twenty six or something. It's it's an, it's next week. Okay, just check the giveaway video. And I I wrote the date in the description. Anyways, so this is a, this is the Garen Lane. Um, he's kind of scary, but. We can win if, as long as he doesn't just, you know, execute us. He does have ignite, so I have to be very, very careful with the, the ignite old whatever. Right? Um, I did take conquer this game, but I didn't take ignite because I saw that my team had two ignites already, and I was like, okay, we don't need a third ignite. They don't have that much healing, right? We can, you know, call out our ignites, be like, oh, we need to ignite Zach this fight. And then that's all we need to ignite, right? Like, there's no point. You don't need this many ignites. Two ignites is good enough, right? Any more, it's it's too much. And I'd rather stay alive. So, the 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 ghost speed, which recently got buffed, right, is better for us. I did do a video previously where I said always take ignite with conquer, um, and you should. But in this situation. It wasn't that beneficial, anyway. And I'm I wasn't really sure if I could actually kill Garen or not. I just saw that the team was kind of tanky. The enemy team was kind of tanky, and I wanted to sustain through. And I didn't want to, you know, just die immediately. With Spellbook, it's great. You can have a bunch of movement speed and stuff. But when you have something like a like a Garen, a Lux, an Ezreal paired with a Leona, there's a lot of burst, right? And while the burst isn't as high as you would see in some other comps, uh, I did see that, you know, they were pretty healthy. And, you know, maybe maybe I can... in in Because it's a long fight, right? Like, obviously, Zack isn't going to one-shot me, nor Leona, or Garen, right? It's going to be a longer fight compared to, say, like, an Aurelia who's going... Right? That's obviously, you know, you kind of just lose there. <laughs> Right, so it's going to be a longer fight, so Conquer is favored here. Um, Spellbook is great if you're, you know, good at baiting. You know, you run in, and then you cleanse out, and then you Zanyas, and then, you know, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. It's great, but it's better for us if we take the Conquer here. And, I don't know, maybe, you know, I could have went Predator, right? Given how I was playing this game, Predator wouldn't have been too bad. Um, Spellbook, honestly, I think the runes are pretty even right now for what you could have done this game. Not Fleet, though. <laughs> fleet, Fleet is memes. Fleet is memes, okay? We're, we're joking around when we say Fleet. Okay, Fleet, Fleet is fun, and it feels great and amazing, but it's it's for fun, okay? It's for trolling. I don't, I don't know if we can, you know, we we can all put our heads together and be like, you know, find out like the perfect build for the fleet. So obviously, you know, you want more adaptive because it heals more, right? And then you want to be able to ha be able to weave in an auto and still run. So obviously, Rylize is up there, right? Maybe get more speed, maybe like a Shirelia's. You know, 
it doesn't give adaptive anymore. It doesn't give AP anymore. So maybe you probably don't need that speed, right? For proxying, it's also not that great. Shirelias, uh, scratch the Shirelias. Okay, we're done with that. No. I think just AP. The standard AP build with the Rylai's Leandries is probably great with fleet. You know, keep a little speed. Rylai's burn with the Leandries. They're paired very, very well together. You know? I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll figure something out for fleet. This fleet, I had fun doing that fleet video. I did fail it twice. But it was definitely really, really fun to just punch things and then heal back like 100 HP. I thought that was funny. That was great. Obviously, this is a bad idea, proxying here, because, you know, I didn't... I, I saw that Zack was bought, right? But Garen does a lot of damage. He did go Berserkus first, so that may be a little scary. I ping that I'm coming mid, because I wanted to gank, right? Run around, flip, right? Yeah, yeah, you understand what's going on? Yeah, we proc Conqueror. Had to take an extra auto to proc Conqueror, but we ganked mid. Okay, now Vlad's happy. Vlad is happy with his lane. You know, he was... I don't, I don't think he was spam ganked or anything, but he definitely wasn't, you know, enjoying his time too much because it's a Lux. And Lux just kind of spams him down. Generally, he should do be fine, though. Anyway, so we cleared the wave. And I kind of want to back here because it's not a whole lot going on. Um, at this point, I have 1,100 gold, which is good because I can go back and get a blasting wand and, you know, maybe some armor or something. So I back with 1,250 gold, right? We get a blasting wand and we get a ruby crystal because we were off by like 20 gold um, for an amp tome, which is fine. Bonus, bonus HP is always nice, right? Um, I'm thinking about doing a video, or I am going to do a video, where I follow an outdated Singe build. And I remember playing old Singed in like season 2, or no, no, like season 3 or 4, where you would rush Tyr and Roa. Because Singed old passive would turn bonus mana, or mana, into bonus HP. So you were just tanky with your, you know, with your, with your lots of mana. Obviously, I have to flash away because he ignited me and he had ults, right? If he ulted there, like, immediately, I would have died. So right now, he's spam pinging, but Zack is just completely ignoring him. And obviously, I don't want to fight this guy because he still does damage and he still does have ult. He's also regenning from his passive. I know Zack's bot, so let's, let's do tight, you know, step two. Um... And let's just, you know, let's just kill the Lux again. Why not? I think it's funny, you know? Like, what was she gonna do? She even, she flashed? She flashed there, too. Like, what, what was she supposed to do there, huh? Not be there? Pay attention? Nah, you're asking way too much. Every time minutes in the game, Vlad is 2-0-1. Bot lane, not too, too hot. It is a kind of a weird matchup, right? Ezreal is 2-0, which I don't like seeing because Ezreal is very, very strong right now, even after his E nerfs. And what they did to Z, they made the cooldown like two seconds longer. Which is really, you know, which is still really long, right? But he does stack a lot of CDR and he does get CDR from landing his Q, so honestly, I don't think it affected it that much. That's for like one extra Q. Or maybe two. Maybe two extra Qs. He was already too safe. His E's a flash every like 20 seconds level 1. That's that's disgusting. Or level 3 if you get it. Level 2. I don't know. Anyways, we're, we're just kind of here to farm. We don't really care uh, about trying to kill the Garen. He's not in a pressing issue. Though we are down almost like 20 CS, which is not great. So, I'm getting ganked here. I step to the left to dodge the Zack, and I'm, I'm just screwing around here, you know? I'm just like, you know, right? But I, I'm trying not to take too much damage because Garen will proc, or Garen will just ult me and I'll die, right? Which is not good. The so Zack goes down there, now he's in passive, right? And I throw the W on top of him so he can't just E away. I flip him, he gets Q'd by Kha'Zix, and we get a nice, nice little kill on the Blob Boy. He's red. 
Kind of looks like blood. Maybe Instagram slime. Slime time. <coughs> Did I just like... I didn't choke on my spit. He was like... He was like, um... It's like phlegm. Because I, I ate something earlier. But yeah, Kha'Zix wanted to dive that for the Garen, but I just did not... I I was too pussy. I was like, no, like, it's a little risky. Garen still has ults. He had Ignite, right? Someone was gonna die. Because I was like 500 HP, which is not great, right? And he was also... Uh, Kha'Zix was also 500 HP. There was no way Garen didn't have W up because it's a low cooldown, right? So that's a bonus. 100 to 200 HP, right? Less CC, even if I do flip him, right? I'm I'm guaranteed to take a turret shot. If Kha'Zix weaves in and out, maybe it works out, right? But, like, it's just way too risky. And I was like, no, I'm out. You know, for that reason, I'm out. I I'm not going to invest in you, right? And I tell him to, you know, just go, go, go back to jungling because I, I apologize formally. It's my fault that you, that we're not going to dive here. But I can't take the risk because Garen is just really scary. And having him to be able to get started, uh, like, killing things is not something that I want. And that was my reasoning. And that's pretty much everything I told him as well. I typed a lot. <laughs> I said, no, we're not doing this. Okay? And for that reason, you know, right? Anyway. So, remember how I roamed twice mid now Vlad is 3-0, and Lux is 1-4. There's no correlation, right? That, that that's completely on accident, yeah. Like that 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 that's just that's just you know I didn't put Lux behind, guys. It was it was it was by chance. It was, it was all Vlad, right? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to uh, for you to pay attention to that because that's you know. I created pressure when there was nothing to do top lane, because I wasn't going to be able to fight Garen, or I probably could, but he'd have to play it really, really poorly, right? Anyways, so he just tried to Q, he what, flash QE'd me, right, with Ignite, and I flipped him over me, right, and I threw W down to where he was going to go. If you have really, really low ping, like 5 ping, you can actually pull off a goo flip by throwing your W after, after the flip. But since I'm playing on NA, and I'm living not very close to the server, I play on 70 to 80 ping sometimes. So that is not actually possible, but it's still, you know, I still get away. Like, I'm not trying to farm the eternal stat, you know? It's fine, right? So no goo flip, but we did flip him and then goo him so that he couldn't just flash after us because, you know, he didn't have flash, right? His Q would, would not be enough to outdo the slow on my W, right? I was out. I also flashed away because I needed to be safe. You can actually uh, cancel Garen's ult with a flash um, if you time it right. If, if it's in, like, the first, like, 0.5 or maybe, like, 0.2 seconds, you can flash away and it counts it as out of range. And you can just you can just leave. So we go Rylai's first because Rylai's is really really good for uh, slowing everyone down and also helping you get the Conqueror stacks because people are stuck in your your Q, right? It helps fights last a little longer and it helps people uh, be slowed and you just you just kind of sit on top of them and keep slowing them. It's great. Right, you can get Protobelt to proc conquer, right? But Protobelt honestly wasn't very important to me here, right? I wanted the slow because, look, if Leona gets caught or Lux gets caught or Zac gets caught and they don't have Flash, what are they gonna do? So I, I, I wanted to goo flip him here, but he, he just didn't want to go into the bush without Vision. So, I overall lose that trade. He does have Triforce, right? He's been farming up a storm. Garen is very, very easy to farm with, okay? If you ever want to go back to the basics of learning to farm and stuff, Garen is great, okay? Garen is just great overall to, like, relearn 
your game sense and game knowledge because you don't need to focus on some crazy combos in lane or how to trade right it's very very forgiving in what what you you can do you can literally just qe someone and it does damage right and then your passive helps you heal in lane you know you, you maybe get a dorn shield if you if you feel like you're gonna get poked a lot right you know, like, he's he's very great for relearning. And that's why, like, LS mentions Annie a lot for if you want to get ELO. Because she's very, very easy, right? I'm not saying there's a huge skill gap or anything. But, like, the the basics of what you need to learn is how to how to use your stun from your passive. How to, how to land things. There's no crazy skill shots, okay? You can just unload everything. Press all the buttons. Same thing as Garen, right? And that's and position better, right? Like you can relearn your macro and farming and everything. It's perfect, right? And I highly recommend picking up Garen or Annie if you're if you think you're having trouble in lane and stuff and you wanna, you know, get back to learning the other stuff other than, you know, how to survive in lane because you're always you always have a rough matchup, right? I highly recommend Garen. So I ghost Right? There's no way Ezreal's leaving, okay? I ghost, Maokai comes in with the W, and he's just dead, alright? And ghost, using ghost here is fine, because we pick up a kill, it's also, you know, we kinda, kinda don't want, <laughs> kinda don't want Ezreal to be too big, right? So I'm just screwing around here, I spammed laugh, and then she binded me. I don't know what Kaisa was trying to do, but that was, that was something. I, I flash... To flip the Lux, because we want to cyber bully. This game is mental, right? Lux is absolutely worth absolutely nothing here. She is one seven now. She's worth like a minion. It does not matter. Oh yeah, watch where I back. Ooh, almost got hit by the Ezreal. Anyway, so. At this point, Garen is still glass cannon, aside from, you know, the bonus bit of HP he gets from Phage, building from Triforce, right? And he's going PD now, which is not a bad buy, right? He does damage, and he's technically ahead. He's up 40 CS compared to what I am, but, you know, could have been, look at this, look at this. Uh -huh. I'm just here. I don't even know. That wasn't even a fight. I joined the fight so late, and it didn't really matter because Kaisa got sniped. Maokai also died. Yeah, Maokai is actually uh, Tommy309's editor. Or was it his editor? I don't know. I don't know if he's still editing for him or what, but I know for like the first week or two of Tommy309's videos, it was Jerko. This guy, Jerko. Project Jerko. Right? He also streams on Jerko Edits at twitch.tv if you want to check him out. I don't know how often he streams. I just played with him because I was like, hey, we're both plat. Let's let's game, right? We played three games. We lost two of them. Uh, I did the most damage in the first game. I did double or everything, and then we lost. I, I, in my match history, it says 054, but trust me, that should be like a like a 2320, two, okay? Trust me. The, the, the scoreboard is lying to you. Uh, this, this is the second game, and then we played one more game after this. I went like 3-3, three, three, like 14 or something, right? I thought I was doing good, but our only win condition was, uh, I think, a vein mid. <laughs> our vein mid was just better compared to the the yasuo adc we had and i don't even remember who the jungler was to be honest but yeah this this game is basically over vlad has medjai's 24 stacks on his medjai's he's about to hit 25 if he heals one more person like this he has no worries in the world he's good right and i don't know how he got to that point how did he get so fed? You know, maybe it was, you know, a little bit of a mid difference. You know, maybe that Singe that came mid twice in a row and got a kill both times. Hmm. 
maybe maybe that has some correlation. Maybe I, maybe I'm uh, repeating myself on purpose for whatever reason. You know, maybe that is something that I'm trying to point out for y'all to uh, pay attention to. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes lanes are stalemates, and that, that's just how some games are. Some people freeze like crazy. Like, I was against a Kled earlier, and he froze the wave in front of his tower, and I lost like 40 CS. And what I could have done is just stand there and wait for the XP, but then what? Right? Or I probably could have helped our mid laner, right? And that's kind of what Garen was doing. He was he was just kind of not doing a whole lot, right? So, you know, I went mid and got something done, sort of. Anyways, this is sort of a weird fight because like I kind of keep leaving and entering, and she gets she dies, and then everyone else dies, and I'm just here, you know. We can five push, but they're trying to force fights, which just not good. You know, do a little bit of counter jungling, gives me a little bit of gold, right? Padding the pockets, okay? The pockets are nice and healthy, right? We can buy some more items, such as a, uh, I guess I bought a ruby crystal there? Oh, Righteous Glory. No, wait, that was on cooldown. Anyways, I accidentally run into Garen. Garen flashes away from me because he's really, really scared for whatever reason. I guess he saw the, 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 the Vlad. Uh, who lost most of his stacks, by the way. He lost 10 stacks for dying. It was unfortunate. And we go Baron because, you know, middle, mid lane, there's super minions. Top lane, there's a Vlad, right? Bot lane is whatever. We can back to cover it, right? So there's not... And we also have their jungle, jungle entirely warded. So that was the freest Baron, all right? Just, just saying. Anyways, this this game is basically over. Ezreal still hurts, even though you know he's not he's not incredibly far ahead, but he is doing pretty well compared to like everything else, right? Compared to the rest of his team, like Lux is three ten. <laughs> she's three ten, dude. She's she's oh my god, she's three ten. What? I don't even remember what happened, but you know it it was just. Uh, a compounding effect of snowballing our Vladimir and her being unable to do anything aside from occasionally sniping someone. I run at run at her, right? You know, we get the kill. I back out because there's no way this fight turns out favorably if it's a 2v4, right? I'm running around. I'm still pretty tanky, right? So I actually could just keep wasting their time here. So I, I just kind of keep, you know, I just kind of, you know, right? I'm just kind of looking, looking for stuff, something going on, right? I thought I could uh, flip the Ezreal. Uh, I thought I could fling lock the Ezreal there, and it would have probably gotten him killed. But it didn't happen, so that was just unlucky. I'm tanking the turret for Vlad because I don't want him to lose too much HP, but honestly it doesn't matter because Vlad heals back all his HP from a single third Q. So that was just kind of a waste of HP there. Don't do that. Sometimes tanking is great, but the Vlad was just not in need of such thing, right? And I, I'm just gonna back here, because there's nothing here. We should just take this inhib right here, right? And Vlad is very, very hungry. He's thirsty. He wants to kill things. Did you see that Q, by the way? That was half his HP. Wah! What is that? He healed 1,200. Who heals that much? That's that's nuts. I mean, he is fed, but still, like, that's disgusting. Anyways, he, he gets full comboed by Leona and everyone else, so I'm like, okay, well, peace out. You know, let's let's just go top, clear the minion, and uh, just, you know, just sit here because we have a big, big cannon, right? And it's slowly whittling down the turret if we really need to. We full send on Ezreal because, you know, he got way too close. Way too close, right? And we just we just murder him in cold blood, right? Even the, the, the special detective man, private investigator, he's not doing anything, right? 
I'm just running around here. I'm pretty tanky. I know Garen wants to kill me. I flip him off of the Maokai because I know he has ults or something. Like, see? You heard that? Garen died before he could ult. Anyways. Yeah. So, Drago did pretty good. 4-7. He went knight he went Knight's Vow into uh the Andres, right? This was just not a good game for the enemy team. We were just too good, okay? We were together. We had that communication down. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, check the giveaway details. I'll probably link in the description or something, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Um, I'm going to go back to eating some coffee ice cream that's homemade. Hell yeah. Um, if you guys want the playlist, just ask for it in the comments. I don't know if you, you can even hear it, but it's Myth's, like, TSM Myth, his lo-fi playlist that he has linked on his Twitch. If you're interested in the playlist, you can just probably just Google it. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it was good. This was a good game. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. Uh, I hope you feel successful and content with your life. If you don't, please reach out and, you know, try. It's it's not bad to just try something new sometimes. Yeah? Bog champ. If you're having trouble, reach out. Yeah? Or else I'll come find you. Yeah. I, I have nothing else to say. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. 94% um, 90, of you aren't subscribed that watch my videos. Please subscribe. You know, we can get into the League Partner Program and I could do more Le League of Legends giveaways. I can give you guys a Bard Chroma. You want green Bard? Do you want that? Do you want green Amumu? Do you want green... What? Well, I don't know what the next one is. But it was like green Astro Bard. You want that? I can get you that. But I need a thousand subscribers first, okay? So, you know, hit that button. Hit it. I'm not even asking for you to ring the bell or anything. Just hit the sub, okay? And then, you know, when I do a giveaway, just enter it. All right, peace out. Have a nice night or day. I don't know. Just have, have a nice something. You know, reward yourself. Yeah. Uh.